and this is the video review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Ejector. Uh, this is my favorite scout, uh, mainly because he's a toaster. I mean, how often do you get a Transformer that's a toaster? Um, I, I I think this is funny. He's a toaster. Ejector, as most of you do know, he does appear in Revenge of the Fallen in a kitchen scene. Um, so yeah. Features here in a toaster mode. Um, you can see these pieces here are covered up and there's no holes or anything. Though that would be neat if they were. Um, and but they ha you have the plug here which you can move around freely. So, yeah. That's basically it. Um, just, oh yeah, a complaint here is you can see it's all nice and very detailed until you get back here. It has all these holes and these gaps in here and just that's my complaint but still my favorite scout um, transformation here take this panel here uh, lift it up bring it down like that go ahead and bring this whole piece up like that uh, take these two panels fold them out like that you want to go ahead and rotate the whole section around like this um, lift up his head here I'm going to go ahead and split these two pieces apart bring them to the side then you want to go ahead and lift this um, piece here onto his back like so and go ahead and take this little panel here bring it down that will form one of his arms and if you open this little compartment here you can see his other arm is folded up here. You just want to bring that out like that and then fold out his hand and close that panel back up. So now he has two arms on that. And I want to go ahead and bring the same panel down here. Open this hatch, though this hatch does have the Decepticon logo on it. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, you see his arm fold up in here. Bring his arm out. Flip out his hand. Close the panel up. And um, then you want to rotate these uh, silver pieces around like that. And there you have Scout Class Ejector. Um, he is hard to stand. You're supposed to flip these feet out down like this, but sometimes uh, he doesn't like to stand on these feet for some reason. So I can just go ahead and leave him up like this. And he stands a lot better like that. Um, Posability, he does have swivel elbows here. That's basically it for that arm. Um, he has ball joint elbows, and his hand here can move. And uh, I thought his thumb could move, but only his hand here can move. And that goes with the other arm. His head can go up and down, um, so he can open up and have like some type of he can throw bread at you if he so desires. Um, he does have hip articulation, knee articulation. And like I said, these feet do move, but I tend not to. Um, so, anyway. Hey, I'm picking this guy up. He's really awesome. It's, um, I really like the design of this guy. I hope maybe in the Nest Alliance they will make more of the kitchen appliances. Um, so, oh yeah, these shorters here, they can throw on ball joints here. So, yeah, just thought I'd point that out. And, um, yeah, if you haven't picked this guy up, I do recommend it. Um, he's a great figure. He's my favorite of the Scouts. And there you have it. Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Scout Class, Ejector.